In this video, we will discuss the problem nearly sorted. The problem says that we have been given an array which consists of n elements and each element is at most k distance away from its target position. We need to find the sorted array optimally. So let us suppose that we have been given this example where the number of elements are 7 and k value is 3. So in this case, if we observe, so let's say n is given to us as 7 number of elements and k is equal to 3 here. And the array that has been given to us is this array. So in this, we have been given the elements as 6 and we have been given 5. Suppose we have been given 3, we have been given 2, we have been given uh, like 8. After 2, we have been given 8. Okay. Suppose we have been given 8, we have been given 10 and we have been given 9. So in this case, what is it is asking is, is it is asking the sorted array. Okay. Sorted array. So what will be the sorted array? Sorted array will be nothing but what? It will be 2, then 3, then 5. Then it will be 6, then it will be 8, then it will be 9 and then it will be 10, right. So this will be the sorted array. So, so basically it is giving you this input array and it is asking you to return the sorted array. So one of the things that you might think of is that you have, you can directly apply the sort function or you can apply merge sort or any other sorting algorithm and you can optimally sort it in n log n time, right. This is what you might think. But in this problem, if you will see the problem actually, so it is uh, like if you see here, so it is saying that you do not need to use any sorting uh, like sort function right inbuilt sort function is not something that you will use so basically you have to do this problem optimally without using the sort function so in this case you have to keep some observations right so now let us try and have some observations in this problem so if you see if you see this element 6 right if you have a look at this element 6 so in this uh, in the normal uh, in the original array this uh, 6 has been given here right but if you see 6 uh, in the answer array, so it has been given here, right? It has been given here. So it, let's let's do the indexing part. So this is index number 0, 1, 2 and 3. Uh, this is also index number 0, 1, 2 and 3. So in this case, what you can easily observe is that the element is how much away? Like if you see 6, 6 is at most, uh, like 6 is at most a distance of 3 away, right? It is at most 3 distance away. It is at most 3 distance away from its sorted position in the final array, okay? So like you can say like what is what is 3? So 3 is nothing but k. So a, a particular element is le le like it is actually lesser than equal to k distance away from its actual sorted position. Now let's try and figure it out for the next uh, next uh, number. So let's say the number is 5. So for 5 you can see 5 is here. So you can see here it is at the index 1. Here it is at the index 2. So basically it is it is one distance away right. It is one distance away and you can say that if it is one distance away so in that case, it is like this the distance uh, between the initial position and the final position is, is still less or equal to 3. If you check for this element 3 and this element, so you can see here it was at 2, here it is at 1. So the distance is nothing but 1, which is less or equal to 3. After this part, if you see at the next uh, number, so if you look at 2, so 2 is at a distance of how much away? 2, 2, actually 2 was here at, at the index 3, but here it is at index 0, so the distance will be 3. And basically you can see that this element 2 is also three, maximum 3 distance away towards the left side or towards the right side. A particular ith element is k distance away towards the left side or towards the right side from its actual position in the sorted array, right? This, this is what we can observe easily. Now if we observe this thing, right, if we have observed this thing, so how can we do this for this much part of the array, right? Suppose that we have this much part of the array and we have to do it. So this problem is very good because it has been asked in Amazon and Flipkart. So how can we do this? So basically what we can think of is we can think of using the priority queue, okay? Because prior, like we can use the min heap here, right? Basically we can try to think and we can use the min heap here. And if we use the min heap here, so we can easily decompose this problem. So let's say we are using the min heap concept here. So in this case, if we use the min heap, so we will be able to do this question. Let's see how. So what I will do in the min heap is let's let's say like you can see that this will be the first part, right? This this these k elements will be sorted, right? So basically, if you see, so I'll I'll have an answer vector, right? I'll have an answer uh, I'll have an answer vector that will store the sorted order, okay? And then what I will do is I'll make a min heap, right? I'll make a min heap for myself in which I'll be containing the elements. So if I have a min heap, let's say the min heap is like this, okay? So first of all, like I will try to check, like I will try to check the size of the min heap always, and like the size of the uh, the size of the min heap should always be lesser equal to k if the size of the min heap becomes greater than k in that case i'll start popping out the elements so first of all i'll insert 6 okay then i'll insert 5 then i'll insert 3 then i'll insert 2 so you can see that currently the size is 4 
then i then the moment i insert 8 okay the moment i insert 8 so the size becomes what the size becomes the size becomes 5 okay uh, like uh, here if you will observe no no size does not become 5 sorry basically suppose k value is given as 3 right suppose k value is given 3 so what happens first of all i insert 6 then i insert 5 so okay let me check this value okay yeah k is 3 here so first of all uh, like we insert 6 then 5 then 3 okay so till this the size is under control but here the size becomes 4 okay the si when i insert 2 the size becomes nothing but 4 and in that case i can see that the size is greater than k the moment the size becomes greater than k i'll pop out the top element so what will be the top element that since this is a mini so the top element will be nothing but 2 so i'll pop it out and i'll insert it into the array so here it comes okay and then after that what i will do is I'll, after i popped it out so now the size becomes again 3 okay so it is still under control so i'll insert the next element so i'll insert 8 the moment i insert 8 into the mini so the size becomes nothing but 4 now it becomes greater than k so what i will do is i'll pop out the minimum element right i'll pop out the top so i'll pop out 3 so that means i'll insert 3 into the array and then what I, you can again see that now again the size becomes nothing but 3 after that i'll insert 10 the moment i insert 10 so after this which element will i pop out i'll pop out the minimum element because the min heap is there so min heap stop will always be the minimum element so i'll pop out 5 i'll pop out 5 and now 5 is again inserted right so size became 4 now it became 3 again so after i have popped out 5 so what happens i'll insert the next element so what's the next element the next element is nothing but 9 so i'll insert 9 into this as well the moment i have inserted 9 so again the size becomes 4 right size becomes 4 so i'll pop out the top element right so that's going to be nothing but 6 because it is the minimum and this is a mini so I'll, I'll i'll write 6 here and then what happens you can see that the size is under control okay now the size is nothing but 3 okay and what i have done is i have exhausted the whole array so whatever elements are left one by one i'll pop uh, i'll pop them out so first of all this 8 will come out because it is the minimum like it is the current minimum element so it will come out and after 8 has been popped out so the next small element will be popped out so you can see 9 will be popped out okay and then after 9 has been popped out so the next minimum element is 10 so it will be popped out and that this is how the final answer would look like you can see the final answer was 2 3 5 6 8 9 and 10 here also it is 2 3 5 6 9 8 and 10 so that is how we are doing and like in this way you can see like basically we use the concept that you don't allow the like the moment the size of the priority queue becomes greater than k then you then you pop out the top element okay and every time you are keeping on inserting the element so the moment it becomes greater than k so you pop it out and push it into the array now why does this concept work because actually it it, it actually works because if you will observe so it has said that a particular element a particular element like let's say for this two this the particular element is at most k distance away from its sorted position either towards the right side or towards the left side so that is why this concept works and now talking about the time complexity of this particular approach so in this particular uh, approach you can observe that like we are following a heap five process right if we are using a min heap right if we are using a min heap so in that case we are following the heap five process so if there are x number of elements in the heap so the heap five process will take log x time okay so how many at most how many maximum elements do we have in the min heap uh, in the min heap at one point of time so we are not having more than k elements right we are not having more than k or k plus one elements so that means there are maximum of k elements in the mini heap so the heap 5 process will take nothing but log k time now how many like this is for one time this is for one time when i do the heap 5 process okay but since there are total n elements so i'll keep on doing the heap 5 process for every index right so that's why the overall for one time if for one element for one time it is taking log k so for n elements in uh, inserting and popping out like operations like these the heap 5 process will take nothing but n log k time so that that is the time complexity of this approach okay and this uh, since we are using a priority queue so the space complexity you can say to be order of n so let us try and now implement the code for this particular approach so what i will be doing is i'll be first of all declaring a min heap okay so i'll first of all declare a min heap so priority queue priority queue int comma vector int comma greater int so first of all i'll declare a, a min heap right first of all i'll declare a min heap uh, that is nothing but priority queue so this is nothing but a min heap so once i have declared a min heap so what i will do is i'll i'll have an answer vector for myself as well so let's say i declare it like this vector in answer and what i will do is i'll i'll run through this particular uh, array okay so int i starts from zero i is lesser than num num is nothing but the size of the array and i plus plus 
okay and what i will do is i'll insert i'll say that pq dot push rfi so i'll put the is i'll push the is element into the mini and after i've done this so what i will do is if it happens that the priority q dot size right if the size of my mini becomes uh, greater than k the moment it becomes greater than k so what i will do is i'll say that answer dot push back i'll push in the in the answer vector i'll say that i need to push back the current top element okay as as i mentioned like uh, as i as i mentioned so we need to do that so we need to say that uh, the top element of the priority queue we need to push it into the into the answer and we need to pop it out so i'll say that pq dot pop okay and once we are done with this part so what i will do is after after we have iterated after we have exhausted all the elements of the array so that means the priority queue will still have some elements okay so like it will have almost k elements in it so so if the priority queue size is greater than zero so what i will do is i'll say that answer dot push back like whichever elements were left in the priority queue or the mean heap i'll push them into uh into the answer so i'll say that priority queue dot uh, like uh, answer dot push back priority queue dot top and i'll say that pq dot pop so i'll keep on popping out the minimum elements one by one so that i can keep on pushing the next minimum element okay and then i'll simply return the answer so let us try and compile this code to see if it works on the samples or not so we are getting a compilation error here it is saying that vector of uh greater int pq was not declared okay yeah so i've done one mistake here basically i should have used one bracket here now let us try and compile it again so let's see what happens okay another compilation error is what we are having so it is saying that pq dot size is greater than k so it is saying this case so i will take smaller k here now it should work so you can see that we are getting the same output on the samples let us try and submit it so our code was able to pass all the test cases optimally and that is how you can see that we were doing it now the, the thing is the thing the observation about this problem is that this problem has been asked in companies like flipkart and amazon okay so this kind of problem has been previously asked in flipkart and amazon and like you can see like the optimal thing right if you if you do the sorting part right if you do sorting so it will take n log n time but when 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 you do this thing when you do the priority queue approach or when you apply the min heap approach in that case it takes n log k time which is lesser than n log n time and the space complexity for this approach is going to be order of n because we are using extra space thank you for watching this video